Now, one thing I will let you know is when you find yourself locked up and incarcerated, the littlest thing somebody can take is disrespect and you can find yourself getting into a fight. For this video here, I'm going to be talking about how an inmate popped a pimple in his own cell and ended up getting in a fight with his cellmate behind it. So let's talk about it. I'm the best, finna be this way till I EOS Take it how you want, nigga, yeah, I'm a pro Fuck around, a bunch of lot while you're at Vizzo I hate to be this way, but I live for the moment Waking up every day, show me an opponent Shanks on deck, hitting bitches with locks So much pool, I can even start you from the box You don't wanna pay rent, got me bent Got lax on deck, your money was well spent Vultures on the prowl, so don't try test Step two, cause violent first steps, finessing You a hold down man, suitcase this My cell phone, I'm a charger, don't walk with a limp Get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it Next time I see you ass, you gon' need airlifted What's up, y'all? You already know, man. K-Frog TV back in the building. Y'all go ahead and do me that solid favor, man. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button. And also make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. Welcome back, y'all. Today, I'm going to be talking about these two inmates that got themselves in a fight inside of cell. All over an inmate popping a pimple. Now, it's kind of crazy when you think about it because you're like, damn. You know, that's got to be like some real, 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 like, petty-ass thing to get yourself into a situation, right? Well, inside of prison, respect goes a very long way and you can find yourself actually in harm's way if you, you know, throw disrespect out there towards someone. Now, don't get me wrong. Hygiene goes a very long way when you're locked up. You know, if you're somebody that don't bathe, don't like to clean the cell, don't like to make your bed, don't like to wash your clothes, you know, just to keep things clean and tidy up here and there, you're going to find yourself, you know, in a lot of shit with people. Now, you might land in a cell with somebody who's just like you. And y'all both be two dirty, stank people that live in a cell that don't want to bathe, that don't want to clean up. You know what I'm saying? Then you might be able to skate your way through. But if you do find yourself in a cell with someone like that that allows you to get away with it, you're only making it to where you're worse like that. So later on, when you find yourself in a different cell with another individual, you're so used to how it was with that bunkie that you're going to, you know, do the rotating cycle and you're going to end up trying the same thing with your next bunkie. And then they're probably not going to let it slide and you're going to end up getting hurt. They're going to try to make you get on the door, check in, get out of their room. You know, just a bunch of bullshit over something as simple as bathing yourself. Okay, now we had this inmate while I was locked up. His last name was Polian, right? So, you know, like Napoleon ice cream, right? So every time I seen him, you know, and he kind of looked like the motherfucker, but every time we seen him, we called him Napoleon Dynamite, you know what I'm saying? We're like, gosh, you like the movie Napoleon Dynamite, right? So every time we'd see him, we'd be like, Napoleon Dynamite, what's up? You know, he was like, I'd say he was, you know, more of a geek, you know, more of a nerd and shit like that. But he didn't really like to bathe, you know, he, he was dirty, you know, he didn't pick up after himself. But I really didn't care because, one, I wasn't in his cell. That's a major thing. So that's on his cellmate to make him bathe, you know what I'm saying? Two, he wasn't like in my exact circle, so I wasn't like sitting next to him or smelt him all the time or anything. We just knew from, you know, paying attention what goes on inside of the dorm. We knew who you see going to from the showers, even if you don't intentionally plan on paying attention to who's going to and from the shower. You just see things as you're trying to be aware of your surroundings. You peep things. You know what I'm saying? So his bunkie was just as bad though. His bunkie didn't bathe or nothing either. So on this particular day, I remember we walked over to a cell. It was like me and two of my dogs. We went over there and cause them boys, you'd hear them always arguing. Like one thing I will say about Napoleon and his cellmate is they were outsiders compared to everything else that was going on inside of the dorm. You know what I'm saying? Like they stayed to themselves. Every time you'd see them, it'd be them two walking together. They walked the child together. They sat and ate together. They were, you know, you'd see them arguing in the cell together. They like hung out in the cell. Like they literally like had their own little world. You know, they didn't want nothing to do with us knuckleheads. You feel me? Now you'd hear them arguing and shit like that, you know, and we used to think it was funny because you got two people who really ain't living like that that are just arguing and they always said something funny while they were arguing. So this particular day, me and two other people, we go up there, you know, we're fucking around in the dorm, you know, we just go over there and start chopping it up with them and stuff. So one of them is looking in the the mirror inside the bath, like the bathroom area inside the cell, I would say. And it's just a piece of metal on the, on the, on the wall, you know what I'm saying? That's you know, supposed to be shiny to where you can see your reflection, but, ten, but you know, depending on how severe 
the metal is depends on if it's dim or if you can actually see your reflection that good. So Napoleon's leaned over the thing and he's messing with his face, you know, and I peep, I'm laughing because I'm like, Dan, that's a dirty ass dude. You feel me? Because what he's doing is, is he's touching all on his face and then he's like leaning on the sink to get closer to the mirror, touching on his face, leaning on the sink to get close, you know what I'm saying? Then I peep, you know, he's, and then he's got like napkins, he's putting napkins on his face to get the little pieces of blood from things he done popped and, you know, he's just digging in his face, right? So... He's throwing the toilet paper in the toilet and then flushing it. He ain't really, he ain't really wiping his hands. I'm like, damn, this dude's like touching everything. He done grabbed a toilet paper roll and you know, like that's dirty as hell. When you're when you're incarcerated, doing stuff like that is a major no-no. You feel me? And you could get placed in the cell with someone and you could do that and slip one time. And depending on how patient that person is or how much they, you know, mess with you, that can get you hurt the very first time you do something like that. You know, just like when you when you piss, you know, not cleaning off the toilet seat. Or if you piss and it splashes outside of the toilet and it lands all on the floor. You got to clean all that up. Even if you don't see it, man, you better clean it because you're going to start smelling piss. And nobody wants to be in a cell smelling another man's urine. You see what I'm saying? So, it's best to be like, you know, tidy when you do stuff like that. Pick up after yourself. Clean extra you know people get MRSA and stuff in there get boils and assists and shit you know so it's it's easy to get that type of stuff when you're locked up because how dirty it is so why not try to clean yourself twice as much you know that's how I look at it but anyways so as we're sitting there and you know Napoleon's over here you know fucking with his things and shit like that uh his bunkie's like why you got to do that in the mirror right so <laughs> they're going back and forth just talking shit and before you know it he's like it's my mirror. I do what I want in front of my mirror, right? And the other dude, we could tell he was aggravated because he would walk to the like the door, turn around, and we peep. He's looking at him. He, he, you know, it's under his breath. You know what I'm saying? So they're going back and forth, just saying little slick comments. Next thing you know, Napoleon's like, "Stop sucking your teeth. We don't want to hear it. Nobody wants to hear it. We got company." <laughs> Talk about me and the other people, right? He's like, we got company. So then he's like, man, I don't care. Stop doing that in my mirror. And Napoleon's like, this is my mirror. And literally, like, me and the two people that are sitting there laughing, we're watching, you know, the argument. So, like, when he says something, we're looking. Then we look over here to see his response. Then we look over there to see what they say. And we you know we're going back and forth. Like, our eyes are following the argument, right? So once he says something back to Napoleon, Napoleon's like, I don't care. And when we look at him, He's popping a pimple, and I swear, not just me, not just the two people that was with me, but the bunkie also seen that white head pop and land on the mirror like it was a squirter. You feel me? That was it, bro. Like, when I seen that, I was like, and by the time I looked at the two people with me, like, that shit's nasty. Like, he, you know, like, he's doing that. And, you feel me? Like, it, I know it happens sometimes. You know, you can't wait the pressure to pop that damn thing, but... He didn't like wipe it right away. He just and just left it there and just kept going. And I'm thinking like as soon as I looked at my homeboys like to see if they peeped it, we look at the other dude. He's like, I told you stop doing that in my mirror. And he punched Napoleon in the back of the head, right? <laughs> so when he hit Napoleon, Napoleon like flew up against the sink and he's like, oh, you want to try me? They start fighting, right? These two dudes don't know how to fight now. They're both like like it looked like they would work for the geek squad you feel me so when these two dudes start going at it inside the room the shit they're saying is hilarious the one dude's like i told you not to disrespect me in front of company <laughs> right so they're going back and forth and he's like but they're my company like as he's got him like in a headlock but he's getting out of the headlock you know what i'm saying it was like the funniest scuffle in this room you know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie, I amped it up a little bit. I'm like, oh shit, Napoleon, he's getting you, he's getting you. Cause I didn't know the other dude's name, you feel me? So we used to, you know, we I was amping Napoleon up a little bit, you feel me? But the fact was, he got in the fight though because he was dirty, you know? Squirting his zits, pimples and shit all over the mirror, being nasty like that. That's what got his damn bunky pacing back and forth, you know? Luckily for Napoleon, the dude, wasn't really like living like that and they were both like you know when it comes to the levels of convicts they were both like 
just trying to get their time over with and leave. Like it felt like they were both like in the wrong place at the wrong time when they caught their charge or something, right? So if he would have been in the room with say me or another inmate, it would have been a whole lot worse. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it would have got shut down off rip, you know? Probably came up behind him with a towel. If you tell him, hey man, don't be doing that shit in the mirror, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's understandable you want to do it in the mirror, but then you clean up after yourself. You feel me? Like, don't be touching everything while you're doing that. You know, that right there feels like, fuck you. And whatever you got going on, I'm going to, this is my room. This is my castle. You get what I'm saying? I'm the alpha of here. That's how it would seem towards someone. If someone was doing that in front of you, inside of your cell, your main thing is looking at it as is, he thinks he's the alpha because if he didn't think he was the alpha, he wouldn't be doing that because it's not normal to do that. I understand, yeah, you want to pop your pimples and different stuff like that. And that's the only thing that you can, you know, look into in order to pop the pimples. But on Canteen, they sell mirrors for a dollar. It's a little piece of like plastic that's crispy. You know, you can literally prop that shit up and pop it, do what you gotta do. Do it in the shower, clean up. Or if you do do it in the mirror on the wall, at least clean it right away. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't, you know? Don't be touching everything either. You know, it's like you're trying to get people sick. It looks like, you know, it's it's inhumane is how it looks. It looks nasty and you could find yourself really, really hurt, you know? And like I said, lucky for Napoleon, the other dude wasn't, a gangster or nothing like that. They didn't really know how to fight. So they both just like locked up. You know, both couldn't throw no punches. And they were more upset about disrespecting and fighting in front of company. You feel me? But it was all because that bunkie was mad that he was popping his pimples in the mirror. You see what I'm saying? And I've seen a bunch of people get themselves into situations, you know, because they don't want to bathe. You know, I've seen people get thrown out of cells. I'll literally say tossed out of a cell. Like Matt folded in half with all their property, walked out the door, thrown right over the damn rail, land down there in the day room. Like, get your dirty ass about my cell. Guards coming in, man, what go, man? He refuses to bathe and the guards will force him to bathe or they'll move his cell. And then now that he ain't bathed, you know, and he's being forced to have to bathe, he's not gonna wanna bathe now. You see what I'm saying? Now that the guards are trying to make him bathe, he's definitely not going to want to shower now. You see what I'm saying? But as far as like, you know, you got to realize you're in there with a bunch of other inmates, you know, and you're not the only person in there that's trying to keep themselves clean and you're not the only person in there that is dirty. So at the end of the day, when you find yourself around other people, you got to respect each other. You got to do whatever you got to do to show respect until there's disrespect. That's what it is. You feel me? And like spitting you know, popping pimples, blowing your nose, snot rockets, you know, bathing, showering, wearing deodorant, brushing your teeth, you know, all these things matter inside of prison, okay? Different countries and stuff, different places, they don't like you to even spit on the floor. You know that? Like, you could be in a certain country and people could be sitting at the bus stop and when you walk by them, sitting in a bus stop, say they're sitting to your right and you walk by them, you can't just spit to your left. Like if you're walking not even paying attention to them, you can't even just go. Tch. That's a disrespectful thing that you spit in front of them. It's different around here, you know, out here in the world. People spit in the open like it's nothing. You see what I'm saying? But inside of prison, people will look for the littlest thing to come after you about. Look at the littlest thing to kind of attack you, whether it's verbally or physically. You know what I'm saying? And for Napoleon, it all had to be because he was popping his pimples. You know what I'm saying? And I've seen people inside the school buildings over here trying to get up in their nose and or over here, you know, stuff like that. Because inside of the school building, they got like certain picture frames and different things where you got a real reflection of yourself, like real mirrors. You know, inside the dorms, you don't have that because they don't want you to take the glass and stab somebody. So it's not real glass. But when you find yourself inside the school building or in the education place or inside of, the, you know, the chaplain or inside of the library they have real mirrors and when you look in that mirror you'll be like damn it's what fraud look like now god i ain't seen myself in a long time because you see such a tinted version of yourself in these other things you know what i'm saying but you'll see people in the school building in these places i just named trying to pop these pimples because they can't really see them inside their cell 
they can't see them where they're able to look at themselves you feel me and it can lead to you getting yourself physically hurt you know that's why i say at the end of the day you got to be careful man hygiene is mandatory you feel me and for napoleon he had to find out the hard way even though he didn't get beat up that bad you know and it was more of a tussle than anything he did get punched in the back of the head i didn't see napoleon land a blow you know he tried to but you know he just all he could do is both of them were in like in defense mode they were both were trying so hard to not get hit but they weren't doing no hitting but that dude did punch him in the back of the head you see what i'm saying so he got punched in the back of the head because he's all up in the mirror you see what i'm saying that's why i feel like at the end of the day you got to make sure you know your surroundings you got to peep it okay you know you got to make sure you're not letting shit fly when someone's doing that near you and you got to make sure you're not doing that around people if you got to blow your nose blow your nose but you know go do it you know in a respectful manner get your tissue blow your shit ball it up flush it if you get something to wipe down your sink wipe down your toilet seat whatever it is you got to do you see what i'm saying if you don't people might take it as disrespect that's how i'm you know trying to explain it to y'all to let y'all know that's how it goes you feel me because you don't want to be one of those ones that are looked at like you're dirty you get what i'm saying and normally when you you're locked up and you got all these pimples coming out of nowhere you feel me there's some type of bad hygiene somewhere you feel me because you don't really see that many people with a lot of acne inside of prison so you know when you see the pimples and shit it's obviously there's some steps that they missed of taking care of themselves you see what i'm saying now i do got a question for the people watching what would you do if you found yourself inside of a cell with an individual like that that's what i want to know y'all drop it in the comment section are you gonna be cool with it are you gonna oh i don't care what he does as long as he cleans up when he's done are you gonna draw that line and tell him look bro i ain't no doing that shit in here bro you know what i'm saying you do that shit in the shower on your own time you feel me or are you gonna do it too you're gonna be right in there popping pimples and shit y'all are two pimple popping animals is it like what is it how 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 would you you know stand up or address the situation if you got a cellmate that started doing stuff like that me off rip i'm gonna tell him hey bro check this out i don't know where you came from whether you're white black spanish asian i don't care what it is i'm gonna tell him look i don't know where you came from bro or how you used to do in time but bro that shit ain't finna slide in here what you mean bro yeah that shit ain't finna slide in here bro all that popping and touching shit and you know like i ain't on that bro you know what i'm saying if you want to clean yourself up you make sure you do a thorough clean with chemicals when you're done in this motherfucker i don't need to be getting sick you know that's that's excessive germs you know what i'm saying i'm not telling you you can't pop a pimple or you can't clean yourself you feel me but make sure when you clean yourself you 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 clean up after yourself as well you know what i'm saying and i would try to address them like you're better off doing that shit inside the shower on your own time so you can wash everything off you and wash everything down the drain in that little ass shower when you're in there bathing you feel me that's why they got them little ass mirrors you bring your little mirror with you prop it up bang right there in the shower boom boom and it's a real good mirror compared to what you're looking at in here you feel me you're getting so close because you can't see it looks so tinted because it's a piece of aluminum or metal or something you feel me so you can't you know you can't really see so the closer you get you know it's gonna make it where your germs squirt on that shit like napoleons did you feel me that's why they got them little mirrors like that you'll see some people with pieces of it and it bro one mirror people break it into like six pieces and give everybody a little piece like this that's all you really need you know what i'm saying and i feel like you get you one of those and you prop that shit up that's that's the best advice you literally can bring that shit with you in the shower and literally all you do is you stick it under the water for a split second so the back of it gets wet and that bitch will stick right to the wall it'll stick there because it's such a it's it's a flat thing that's wet so when you stick it to the wall it like suction cups it boop right there that's it bro do everything you need to do in there wash that bitch with the soap you know what i'm saying rub yourself down do whatever you got to do you feel me clean off real good and then uh, what better way you know what i'm saying like let that you know hot water hit you so your pores open up you feel me and clean up boom 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 go back to the cell everything's good you know in the bathroom you do what you got to do. You feel me? If you're in an open bay, you go to the bathroom, but you better make sure you clean up after yourself inside that open bay bathroom because it's a bunch of different sinks. And it's the same disrespect if you were to uh, not really and touch everything like you would inside of a two-man cell. You feel me? But I really want to know what y'all would do if y'all found yourself in that situation. 
you know, a lot of people hear the little prison stories and stuff and myths online and on movies about people, you know, taking their culo inside the shower. Don't get me wrong, it happens, it's possible. And if you go to prison, you'll probably hear about it happening to a couple people. But that right there be the main reason a lot of people be scared to bathe. A lot of people refuse to hit that water. They refuse to get in that shower because of all the stories and shit they hear when it comes to a booty band that's coming in there trying to take it. You see what I'm saying? Not really knowing that you'll land at an institution and booty bandits are like forbidden, which means like they're in there, but when they go to strike and they go to like attack and their prey, people in the dorm stand up and the dorm protects that person against the booty bandit because they don't like that type of shit. You see what I'm saying? Somebody always has something to say or somebody always gets involved when somebody tries to take something like that from another person. You feel me? So it isn't like you're just in a cold world by yourself and people are gonna just sit there and watch. Don't get me wrong now, you can land in a place where the booty bandit might be the person that runs the dorm. Then it's different, you feel me? But at the end of the day, it isn't a reason to not hit that water. You know what I'm saying? Shit, your ass might smell even more from not hitting that water. It ain't gonna make people not wanna take it if their intentions is to take it. They're gonna just, you know, be able to find you more because you stink. You're gonna alert them easier. You feel me? Because you got a scent to you. I'm just being real with you. But anyways, y'all drop it in the comment section. Let me know what y'all would do. And who was wrong when it came to the fight out of, you know, Napoleon or the other guy? Was Napoleon wrong, you know what I'm saying, for popping his pimple and, you know, talking the way he was in front of company? Or was the other guy wrong for even coming at Napoleon and punching him in the back of the head over that? Y'all let me know what y'all think. That's all I got for y'all today. I hope y'all have a great weekend. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Y'all make sure y'all catch me on my gaming channel, K-Frog Gaming. I'm over there streaming a couple times throughout the week. I appreciate y'all watching like I always say. And make sure you keep them rat squares, clowns, chomos, pedos, gunners, wannabe island boys, and clock chasers out your circle. And until next time, this the one and only. I am my team, Frog. I'm a criminal. I'm a cool nigga, but I got a limit though. I'm a cool, but I got a limit though Cause I'm a criminal, yeah I'm a criminal